Hey guys and gals, what is up? I am Movie Gaming Guy here, and I'm here with my review on The Lion Guard. So, um, anyways, um, before I go with anything, I just finished watching right now. The credits are actually playing right now, but anyways, that doesn't really matter. So, anyways, let's get on with it. So, anyways, the story of The Lion Guard is pretty much from, uh, Keon is a young, young lion cub and Simba's son. Simba is trying to tell Kiara about how one day she's going to become king. And Keon kind of just ruins it right there. But anyways, yeah, so Keon and um, his friend, what's his name? I forgot his name. I forgot his name already. I just finished watching it. The Honey Badger. Bungie. Bungie. There you go. I think it's Bungie. Um, uh, they, they, um, how do you say it? They, they start playing around and they end up going to the Outlands. Keon then unleashes his his roar, but it's not norm it's not a normal roar. If you don't get it, just watch it. <laughs> but yeah, he doesn't he doesn't do a normal roar. And Rafiki then hears it and he realizes that Keon is the leader of the Lion Guard. So anyway, he tells Simba, and Simba isn't really unsure. You know, kind of like how Lion King 2, Simba's like an overprotective father. He's kind of the same thing in um, uh, this show, except it's not as bad. It's not as bad or bothering as it was in 2. And, um, uh, yeah. And, oh yeah, Kiara, Kiara has friends too, and she's a kid. And, um, uh, they sh bleh. Simba and Rafiki then show Keon the 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 Lion Guard secret lair, and what I thought was pretty cool is how they showed the backstory of the Lion Guard, and it was really interesting and actually kind of a plot to see that Scar was part of the Lion Guard. That actually just made it a lot cooler, but yeah, then they tell a story about how Scar was a Lion Guard and how he destroyed it because he wanted to become king. You know, but, you know, kind of, you know, and then that pretty much leads all the events to Lion King 1 and 2, and this show. So anyways, Keon does, Keon does exactly what Simba says, which is to get other members for the Lion Guard. So he gets all of his friends. Simba then gets, not exactly, he just, not exactly mad, he just gets upset because Keon decides to get all of his friends for the Lion Guard, and Simba thinks he's just doing it because he thinks it's all fun and games, but Keon believes that his friends are the actual Lion Guard, because Simba says they need to get the, what was it, the fiercest, the bravest, the strongest, the fastest, and the keenest of sight. So anyways, after a scene with Keon and Mufasa, Keon then realizes that he has to show Mufasa that, I mean, bleh, why did I say Mufasa? He has to show Simba that they are the Lion Guard after a bunch of hyenas come over and decide to um, uh, decide to decide to kill all the gazelles because they know if they kill all the gazelles, it's pretty much leads to an extinction and will pretty much ruin the circle of life. So after Kiara and um, uh, Kiara and her friends try to hunt for um, gazelles, the hyenas uh, decide to cause a little stampede, kind of like the Lion King one stampede scene, except not as dramatic. But it has one of those scenes, and, um, you know, yeah, and that's pretty much leads to that. And, you know, Keon and all of his friends pretty much do, pretty much do, you know, how do I say it? They pretty much save Kiara, and then they show the hyenas what they're truly made of. Some of them realizes that Keon actually knew what he was doing, and Keon decides to let all of his friends become the Lion Guard. And that's pretty much the story. So, yeah, I'm sorry if it sounded confusing. I'm not really good at telling storylines. But, yeah, the animation, I can say. I know I'm a, I, at first I said I feel like it could have been better, but now I realize that it's actually a lot nicer looking on a TV than it does on a computer screen and on a phone screen. It actually looks a, It actually looks really, really, really beautiful. I don't. Th in my opinion, it doesn't look as good as one or one and a half, but it looks it looks better than the Lion King two, in my opinion. And it's just it, the animation is just really beautiful. I just kind of wish Timon. I just kind of wish Timon's head didn't look awkwardly a little bigger than his body. I don't know. Timon kind of. It doesn't bother me. It just looks kind of weird. <laughs> but yeah. 
Um, also, what I love is how they make, they make a lot of, well, they don't make that many references, but they make some references to the first movie, too. You know, like I said, how the gazelles running and Kiara's, like, in danger. It's kind of a reference to The Lion King 1 with the stampede scene. And how, um, uh, what other references was there? Oh, yeah, and how Kion was all depressed, and then Mufasa comes in the sky to help him. I feel like that was supposed to be somewhat of a reference to how, um, uh, when Simba was really confused, and then Rafiki tells him that Simba's... I mean, not Simba. Rafiki tells Simba that Mufasa is actually alive, and then Mufasa talks to Simba through the clouds. I feel like it's supposed to be a reference to that scene. And what else was it? I know there's a lot more. Mm. Uh... Oh yeah, and then right... <laughs> Also, kind of funny, I like how right, right when it begins, you just kind of hear like, you know like how the Lion King 1 begins, 1 and 1 and a half begins, you know, the, Ma-sa-ban-za. yeah, it kind of begins with that, and then, and then Simba, and Simba tells Kira, you know, you know, everything the light, everything the light touches is our kingdom. Yeah. <laughs> I, I really like that part, too. Also, I'm really glad they have all the characters, too. You know, they still have Timon and Pumbaa and Simba and Nala and Rafiki. The only thing I find kind of weird, though, is, um, uh, where's Zazu? I, I kind of noticed that, like, like, you know, ever since Kingdom Hearts 2, they just kind of kicked off Zazu. Like, Simba, you know, you got Simba, you got Nala, you got Rafiki, you, ha you, you have Mufasa, you have Timon and Pumbaa. They even talk about Scar, but never do you ever see Zazu once. It's really weird. Now that I think about it, I don't even think you see him in 2 at all. Oh, no, no, yeah, you do, yeah, you do, never mind. But still, yeah. Also, another thing that kind of bothered me was how, um, uh, how Timon and Pumbaa were Bungie's uncles. Well, it doesn't bother me, it just bothers me how they don't really give an explanation of why. He just, he just kind of is... I kind of like how uh, Timon and Pumbaa actually do try to look out for him, though. I, ju it ju I just kind of wish Timon and Pumbaa had more uh, screen time. Because they only appeared for, like, three minutes, and then it was... They only appeared for, like, two minutes, and then a song, and then that was kind of it. Which really bothered me. And, um, uh, what else? What else? What other complaints? There's another complaint I had. Um, uh... You know, like I said, Simba is kind of um, uh, overprotective. Although that's really Barbara. What bothers me is just his voice actor, because I know all of them have um, uh, all the character, all the characters from the past. They all have the same exact voice actors. It's just I don't know if it's just me, but is it just me or does Simba's voice actor sound different in this show? I don't know. It just kind of bothers me. It feels a little too like serious for Simba. Also, I feel Simba's a bit too serious in the show, too. Because that, like, in the movies, he's kind of, like, a combination of serious and, like, play-around fun guy. I don't know, it just kind of bothered me. <laughs> but other than that, I thought it was, I thought it was The Lion Garbage pretty good. Also, there, was a, there were some songs in it, too. They weren't as catchy as Lion King 1 or 2 or 1 and a half, but there were still pretty good songs and pretty catchy to listen to. Um, you don't have the outliners, you have the hyenas, which I kind of like. Although you don't have Shenzi, um, uh, what's, his, what's the guy's name? Shenzi, Ed, and I, I forgot the other hyena name. It's Shenzi, Ed, and someone else. You don't have them through, which kind of sucks, but at least they still include hyenas, which I kind of like. And, um, you know, that is all I was about to say. But, yeah. So, anyways, overall, I think The Lion Guard is a really good show. I can't wait to see. I can't wait to see any of the other episodes. Hopefully, it doesn't get moved on to Disney Junior because I don't have Disney Junior. But yeah, I really can't wait to see the more episodes. I actually really do like it. I hope Simba isn't so serious on. I, I just hope Simba isn't so serious in the future episodes. And I hope Timon and Pumbaa get more screen time. And I hope they also talk a little bit more about Bun Bungie because, yeah, like I, like I said, they don't really explain that. They just kind of say, oh, you know, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, so overall I'm giving the Lion King Guard a 
8.9 out of 10. And I recommend you should watch it if it comes on. You know, I, re I recommend watching. I recommend you guys should watch it and check it out. And, yeah. Also, I recommend watching 1, 2, and 1.5. And all three of those movies, too. And also the Timon and Pumbaa cartoon. Because, yes, there's an actual cartoon. But, yeah, I'm giving it an 8.5. I'm 8.7 out of 10. And that's all I got about to say. So, anyways, I'm the movie gang guy. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.